by launching its maiden multinational air exercise, Tarang Shakti or Power of the Wave in Sulur Air Base, Tamil Nadu for the first time in six decades on Indian soil. German, French, Spanish and Royal Air Force United Kingdom conducted mega air war games with the Indian Air Force. The Chief of Air Staff of the Indian Air Force also participated in the aerial exercises along with his counterparts. Air Chief Marshal V. R. Chaudhary said all objectives were met during the first phase of Exercise Tarang Shakti scheduled between 6th and 14th of August. Exercise Tarang Shakti, the first and the largest multinational exercise conducted on Indian soil in over six decades. This has been a week of uh, learning, best practices from each other, sharing professional skills, fostering friendships between our Air Forces. And as we come to an end of the phase one of Tarang Shakti, I think it gives me with immense pride, I can say, that all our objectives have been met. My compliments to all the participants of Exercise Tarang Shakti for the wholehearted support and brilliant performance. The professionalism with which all the contingents have conducted themselves is indeed appreciable. Participating for the first time in India, German Air Chief Lieutenant General Igno Gerhard said, German Air Force learnt a lot from the most diversified forces, the mighty Indian Air Force. Um, Tarang Shakti in 2024, it was the first time ever that the German Air Force uh, did an exercise here in India and I am quite sure it will be not the last exercise. Um, great experience to fly with your people. Um, when we had the press conference a week ago, um, you mentioned you are probably the most diversified Air Force in the world. Yes, indeed, um, that's true. The German Air Force was always, this is the biggest and most complex deployment we ever did one time around the world. In the first phase of the exercise, the Air Force of Germany, France, Spain and the United Kingdom participated with their fighter aircraft. Germany, Spain and the United Kingdom brought their Eurofighter Typhoon, while the French have come with their Rafale jets. The first goal we have to, to achieve is deterrence. When the deterrence fail, then we have to defend ourselves. So, uh, you, you have mentioned Europe. What will be the next one? Because there are going to be a next one, for sure. So, showing this kind of exercises, straightening our cooperation, uh, will deter any possible enemy to, to, to confront us. To train and to exercise. There is no other objectives than doing that. It was the case in Alaska, it was the case in Australia, it is the case here in India. Several aircraft, including indigenously manufactured helicopter Sarang and LCA Tejas, showcased their prowess in the air show, organized at the sidelines of the exercise. The Indian Air Force fielded light combat helicopter Prachand, light utility helicopter and the Eurofighter Typhoon also displayed their breathtaking versatility during the air show. India's prime focus throughout the air exercise is on Atma Nirbharta and to put on display its indigenous capabilities. In the Atma Nirbharta Abhiyan, LCA Tejas is a symbol of success for India, the Indian Air Force Chief said on the conclusion of the first phase of Tarang Shakti. With Ravi Shankar in Sulur, Nilanjana for Bharat Shakti. Our borders, a symbol of strength, guarded by our brave warriors. As the proverb goes, armor strengthens the greatest warrior. A1's fences are that armor for the armed forces. A1 Fence delivers quality in every inch. Products, services, and insights. Providing solutions, tackling every challenge in any terrain or condition. A1 Fence. 
securing our borders silently.